My first guest stars on the number one TV show in the country, ER. Please welcome Noah Wiley. <laughs> million viewers 40 million a lot of viewers every week a lot of viewers man i mean how do you feel about that, that that's like almost everybody in the country watching it feels pretty good i tell you it's nice you've done a lot of work i've done a lot of work where uh nobody watches <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to finally do a show where uh, people are tuning in now you play a doctor but i understand uh you're not too good about seeing blood Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, I should clarify, I'm okay with my own blood. I have a pretty high tolerance for my own uh, pain and bloodletting. It's anybody else I see that uh, gives me, makes me queasy. Is that right? Although I have given blood and passed out. That was my own blood. <laughs> Although that wasn't my fault. The first time I ever gave blood, honestly, this is the last thing I remember, the woman said, you're my first. <laughs> I woke up in the back of the van with the punch and cookies. Well, I'm, I'm like that with the dentist. I hate the dentist. I hear you know, you. it's just it's just tough for me. Well, we have a clip from ER. Won't you set that clip up? This clip, I think, uh, aired last year, was the culmination to that horrific storyline we had about a serial rapist. And uh, I believe I'm working on a on a security guard who tried to stop a rape in progress, and uh, we're having a lot of trouble saving his life. Okay, let's roll it, Michael. Damn it! Left ventricle shredded. How many units in? Three. Fourth one's up. There's not enough to sell. Come on, we should still try. Call it, Carter. Save the blood. Stop an old woman from being raped. No good deed goes unpunished. How was that? It's 11. <laughs> Bitch. I watch that clip and all I can think of is the faces on our technical advisors when I throw that thing down. They go, no! <laughs> Doctors don't throw sharp instruments in the emergency room. It's a big no-no. I shouldn't have done it, but dramatically it works. So they let me yeah, that's, but that's why people love the show, though. It's because the dramatics of it. And yeah. that it's powerful. No, it can't throw a scalpel. They can snap your gloves you know, yeah. in a pretty angry way, but right. no sharp instruments. But you ever do anything on the show that, um, I don't know, just gross you out, so to speak? The puking gets a little old. <laughs> the vomit gets a little old. I seem to be on the receiving end of a lot of vomit. Yeah, like, so, yeah and you do. So how does that happen? What, they, how do they do it? Yeah, how do they do it? Depends on what kind of vomit you're asking about. So okay. We have different kinds. The, the worst kind. <laughs> the worst kind is the projectile, uh, and that requires uh, our special effects man, Scotty Forbes, to come in with this huge tube and a uh, big pump, and it, you run a hose up the side of the actor's mouth, you know, right out the side, and you shoot it from this side, and then they just... And it just, and it just, woo! <laughs> and you have to shoot scene after scene, because if it doesn't work. Take after take after yeah. take. They'll have six or seven of my exact wardrobe lined up outside the door ready to go. So as soon as it happens once, they'll go, okay, change them. Have it again, change them all day long. <laughs> now, are you and uh, George Clooney and the rest of the co-stars close? Very close, very close. Yeah, we got close uh, from the get-go, and mm -hmm. uh, I consider George, Eric, Anthony to be my closest friends. Now, you do things together away from the set. Yeah, we play a lot of ball. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we play a lot of ball. We have a good game that we have on Sundays. George can play. Well, who, he can play. He can play. Who else on the show can play? Basketball. Uh, Eric's a decent... Re How do we look as a starting five yeah. at the ER men matchup? Yeah, yeah. It looks like this. George <laughs> brings up the ball. He's a good point guard. Uh, I'm sort of a shooting guard. Okay. Eric LaSalle is a hell of a rebounder. And then Anthony Edwards is our big man in the middle. You know, I'm missing a power forward, though. Well, you know, I'm available. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, George Clooney plays a lot of pranks on the show, right? He's a prankster. So give us sure. a couple of examples. Most of the examples I couldn't even mention on the air. But they, they range <laughs> from, the, uh, from the fairly mundane to the, to the criminal and the pathological. Uh, let me think of a good example. Has he played one on you? No, never. 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 Okay. Well, I make sure that I'm, uh, you know, right there with him. <laughs> <laughs> we can get that guy. Huh? <laughs> now, did any of the people that you played pranks on, did they get you back? 
I try to stay out of that game. I think that's inviting a whole world of trouble that I don't need in my life. So I try and make sure that uh, I just laugh at the jokes and, you know, mm -hmm. hope that I'm never on the receiving end of them. But they range from, like, his favorite thing to do is to take your license plate frame that goes around your license plate and change it with one that's got a funny little message on it that uh, you probably won't check for a good six months, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You'll be driving down the road and people will be honking at you and it'll I, I say wish, something. I wish we could tell the one that... You heard about that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I wish we could tell that one. <laughs> well, just tell the beginning of it and then they know what the ending of it is. Just honk if you love... <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with more from Noah Wiley, all right? And you guys, there's only 10 days left to send in your tape. If you want a date with Sheila E, and make sure they're good too. <laughs> Sheila, you just you just getting us all up dancing over here. You really doing a good job. Let's give it up for Sheila again. And we're back with Noah Wiley. Now, ER is much like the Chicago Bulls, you know, the best at what they do. The Bulls are the best. This show, ER, is, is the best. Now, High praise, it, thank you. Yeah, but is the team going to stay together because you see what's happening with the Bulls? So is George Clooney going to stay or what? Uh, I think uh, George will be back for uh, most of the season. Mm -hmm. I can't really, I don't know what his plans are after that, but uh, I can imagine how the Bulls feel because we're losing... Uh, a key key player and he will be sorely missed yeah, yeah for sure and all of us will miss him as well he's a great know. guy let me tell you on the cam on camera off camera he's a he's a hell of a guy to have around yeah. and you know basketball buddies are worth their weight in gold now all the women love you uh, actually, yeah yeah they do you have a big female following but you're off the market now I'm off the market. I'm off the market. I have, I'm madly in love with my girlfriend. Yes. And what's her name? Her name is Tracy. Yeah. yeah. Tracy. So where did you and Tracy meet? We just celebrated our uh, two-year anniversary. We, uh -huh. uh, we met two years ago on a film that I did back east called The Myth of Fingerprints, a little family drama. Uh -huh. And she was the makeup artist and uh, met her day one and knew day one. So, so day one, I mean, she's doing your makeup and... As soon as I saw her, I walked in and went, hey, hey, hey who's that? Uh -huh. Go ahead, take take us through it. Oh, uh, they said that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, yeah, so I was sitting in her makeup chair, and we were just talking. and found out we had a, a, a tremendous amount in common, mm -hmm. and um, we just sort of went from there. And now, what's this about cars? You had similar yeah, cars. Yeah, we have similar cars. I have a car that's a 1960 Oldsmobile convertible. It's a huge boat of a car, uh -huh. and she drives a 64 Pontiac Catalina, which is also a big boat of a car, so I thought... You know, that's an interesting coincidence yeah. right off the bat. So between, there were many more, though. It wasn't just the cars. So between you and I, forget that the audience is here and the viewers are watching at home. Right. When are you going to pop the question? Just, just between us? Just between us. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe soon. I don't know. I don't know. I feel that strongly. Be uh, because the tabloids... I probably won't do it right now. I probably yeah. won't do it right here. Because the tabloids got you married now anyway, right? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, have to do it. I saved the money on a ring because the, the Inquirer says we already, uh, we already got engaged. Uh, but soon, I mean, I'm, I'm crazy about it. Have you thought about Look how... Look at me, I'm going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <What are> you <laughs> doing? <laughs> have you thought about how you would ask her? In the most romantic way possible. Wow, so you're a, roma a romantic guy, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's kind of disappointing to Sheila because she wanted you to send in one of them tapes. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> now, people don't know that you wanted to play in the NBA, too, when you were back in high school. Yes, I had NBA aspirations. I did. Uh, <laughs> I settled for the YBA, <laughs> a league in which I did dominate. Uh, no, I was, I was serious. I played hours every day, every mm -hmm. day. And then uh, a mutual friend, Mitchell Butler, yes, transferred right. to my school. Uh, and, and Mitchell was a guy who played at UCLA and now... Washington Bullets and now the Cle Cleveland Cavaliers. That's right. And so uh, what did he tell you? He transferred to my school. We became best friends, and he is the first one that told me that uh, short white Jews don't make the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> and interestingly enough, that was a surprise to me. I never really thought it through. Uh, and sure enough, he went on to play in the NBA, and, uh, but I'm on your show. That's right. That's right. That's right. So you gave it up shortly after that? Shortly after that. Yeah. How did you get into acting then? I just started acting in high school when uh, I, we were in sixth grade and Mitchell was dunking and I realized that 
that wasn't in the cards for me. <laughs> I better figure out another way of going about mm -hmm. it. So I did my first play in high school and uh, just got bit by the acting bug and kept on plugging. Yeah. They tell me when you used to audition, you used to eavesdrop. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I didn't do it for very long, though. The first couple times you listen and they go, well, that was certainly interesting. Wasn't he really good? And you go, nice. And you walk out and you feel great. And then I did it once, and you hear this, uh, well, that was a tremendous waste of time, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> I never listened to the door after that. Well, look, I know you can't stay, but I really appreciate you dropping by. I can't by. tell you what this means to me, man. And uh, I want you to do this for, for me. Tell George that you're bringing in a surprise player, like him and Anthony can play together, and you and I be teammates. Do you mean it? Really? Yeah, two on two, and we'll take them on, okay? That'll be the day we play for money, I think. There you go. <laughs> okay? Thank you, Noah. Noah Wiley, everybody. Up next, rock and roll legend, Little Richard. Don't go away. <laughs> That's the way it is.